love bugs it's rosalyn back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please you know drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe or you know just give you something that you can truly resonate with that you truly need it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share will be greatly appreciated so you know as always send in love and love light protection towards others as well any low vibes you know this post that's how i'm showing it to you is like this post um uh, with power of protecting anyone who comes across my videos or anything else that I post from any energy of ill will intentions negativity uh, and the evil eye and I'm showing that right off to you so if there's anything that you trying to place on me hey it's going right back to you uh, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you are um, you are knowing and seeing the antidote of illnesses of all elements of your situation. It is so true. Y'all, it is just like going through different things in your life and you're really trying to understand, you know, what's taking place. What do I have to, you know, why do I have to go through this? Or why does it always have to seem so hard? And, you know, um, it's always one thing after another. You have to understand you're constantly being tested with your patience, your beliefs within yourself, within the universe, within God. Uh, moving in your purpose. You're learning so many different things from the situation. And when you're, you're doing those things, it is just like you have to really step back it's all about trying to change the perspective of it are you looking at things from a healthier perspective are you looking at it from a negative perspective are you looking at it through emotions are you looking at it through wounds fear or you're looking at it through logic you know what is the situation trying to teach me what is the situation trying to uh tell me about myself within my surroundings within other people things that you know within myself do i need to cut off from do i need to heal do i need to step do i need to forgive all those different things and it's just like you know when my even with my situation had a new one you know I had to go to the store today got followed again from somebody that was trying to take me out I'm just like okay they couldn't get that person to do it because I already know who it was now all of a sudden I have another one coming out to uh, follow me because it was just like the way it was like before I left the house I heard spirit say keep your eyes open you know whatever so uh I went ahead and did that and plus after you know the first time that happened you know I'm always gonna keep my eyes open I'm very you know very very observant of everything in my surroundings even when I'm in the house I get very very observant so it was like when I'm leaving and it was just like uh, probably about three four mile gap you know person going opposite the way uh, opposite direction and I got the same kind of vibe I got from the last guy that tried to do this thing and his friend that tried to do it and next thing you know it's been almost close to an hour that you're going the other way when I get ready across the street because someone was telling me usually I walk on this side of the street all of a sudden I changed direction and went that way and then all of a sudden when I get right across the street I turn around and this dude was just right there and I'm just like how the heck did you get here that fast and then it's like I'm crossing the street and I'm just like here we go again you know, it was just like, because uh, I always know, you know, like I said, I know my enemies watch my videos. I know my karmic watches my videos. So it's just like, why would you keep doing this if you already know I'm going to talk about it? And it's just like not doing it in a vibration of trying to call out on somebody's character. But when I'm, you know, being guided to talk about different things in, into my life, it's just willing, willing to heal. And it's just being able to let you know. When you are protected, you are always going to be protected. And, you know, universe and God knows it's like in a situation like that, you're going to be scared, you know, in the situation. But it's just like when they're telling you, keep your eyes open, keep your eyes open. Allow yourself to understand what's taking place. But it's just like when they're doing that, they're always going to tell you, we want you to keep your eyes open. But we also want you to know, have a faith within us, the universe, your ancestors, your guides, you know, your archangels, everything 
you know, taking place because you're moving in your purpose. When you're moving in your purpose, you're always going to be protected. Anything that's going to come into connection with that is trying to teach you to be able to do things. And it's just like when you're dealing with anybody that's going against you when you're in your power, when you're speaking truth, you know, you're going to always have something that's going to place some kind of resistance. This is that thing that's going to strengthen you. And the situations that I'm going through is just like I was telling y'all the other day, you got to lose a lot of people to find your inner self. There's a lot of people that wants you to play backseat of your, your, you know, your, your life of purpose. So these different things is taking place. And it's just like, you know, I go on a day to day basis, you know, just being grateful for everything that goes on, even when things are going in, in a direction where it's like, it'll be tension in the situation. So it's just like, nothing could be good happening for me, but it's just being in that point. And I'm not saying nothing could be good, like all hell's breaking loose, or, you know, things are getting better, or, you know, I'm getting towards blessings. It's not even about that. But just being peace and understanding everything that you're going through on a day by day basis is strengthening you. You're learning more about yourself. You're learning more about your surroundings, how you're healing, how you're changing, and the things that you really need to allow yourself to let go of, forgive, place understanding, place patience on those different things and it was just like for that situation that's going on I had to really have allow myself to have understanding not to allow myself to have anger and it's just like how the heck you're not gonna allow yourself to have anger when somebody's constantly trying to unalive you every time you leave the house and it's just like you have to understand how powerful you really are when people are trying to take your life you know and it, it was just like me having to really speak on that I had to be in my vibration of being able to, okay, you know, because it was just like, when you hear it, it's like, no, speak up on yourself. And, you know, I always tell y'all, speak up on yourself. You go through different things. And it's just like, you have to understand when people go at you so hard, the way they go at you, you know, when I even speak, you have to understand when people are doing that, they have faith in you. They really do. And it's just like, how do your haters have faith in you? Because when you, you're doing that and it's like your haters, your enemies, anybody who's focusing on you to wish for your downfall, wishing ill will on you. They have faith in you. You're going to overcome something. You're stepping in your power. Anything that's going to give you a light. And you're not even looking like, oh, I want attention. Oh, I want this. It's just you doing what you're told to do. You know, whatever, whoever you want to be mad at, I'm like, I'm just going on doing what I'm told to do. The person that you need to be getting mad at and you need to be having all this animosity is the person who gave me my assignment. I understood it, you know, and it goes through that. And I can be in my peace, you know, but mind my own business. And, you know, it gets to that point where it's bad enough is you're bringing your daughter in the situation and you're telling her to watch me pay attention to every single thing I'm doing and I'm just like it couldn't be me I'm just like but if she's minding her business why do you worry about what she's doing every day why are you doing this you know because it's just like I noticed there's extra cameras being placed around my house you know you constantly keep ordering different things um, I'm a clean freak so it's just like you know when I told y'all about the triggers is when I tell you when people are trying to trigger you and you're not into that compatible vibration, you know, combat, I meant to say com combative, compatible by vibration. I'm going through different things and you're just, you know, you're meditating, you're, you're allowing yourself to do affirmations, whatever. And you're just focusing on you and your growth. You know, you're trying to center yourself and all that. And you got all these different eyeballs on you. And it's just like, okay, what is it today? I'm a clean freak. OCD. You know, like crazy. Love my house and love my love love the smell of my house being smelling good. What I have to deal with somebody leaving doors open in my bathroom. I have a male cat. Anybody who knows how male cats are when they urinate and they mark territories, it stank. It really stank. Gotta deal with that every day. And it had to be at that point where, you know, before I used to argue about it, like stop leaving the door open. You're doing everything. That's why I tell people if you're dealing with a toxic person, narcissistic person, karmic person, never tell them what your pet peeves are. They know you're a clean freak and they know you don't like funky smells and stuff like that because it's at that point where if I know you, that those kind of smells don't bother you, that may, really makes me question myself about you within a whole. And that made me so glad I stayed to myself in every way possible if you get my drift. So it was going through that and I had to be understanding of that, knowing what's the antidote to be able to do that. You're healing to that point where I'm just glad. I don't have triggers like that anymore. What is your, you know, your antidote for that? You clean it. You know, I'm like, what are you doing? You're cleaning. Yes, I clean it. Because if you know, anytime 
a person is like in that narcissistic vibration just for you arguing gives them power that lets them know some kind of way they still have control over you there will be different things where people always have to constantly have control over you when you're allowing yourself to place boundaries you know say no not allowing yourself when you see things is trying to get your attention by trying to aggravate you in certain kind of ways even if it's some people that you know got to convince people oh you're bad you're this you're this you're this just to be able to get a whole hate group on you you know there's something about you that is really alluring to them that's very targeted to where they have to be able to place you out of your element so it's like the antidote you see the elements and the problem you see that the sickening is just obsession you know uh, toxic vibrations to where people are being focused on you and it's at that point where universe is showing them that person is in their vibration they're doing what they need to do they're in their purpose you need to be in your purpose everything that you're doing within those decisions are tests that we're trying to see what you're going to do it's just like just like your enemies are getting tested you are also being tested you know and going through those different things I don't like talking about stuff like this but it's just like you know when people you know what not people but when spirits telling you to stay in your power speak up on the different things you're going through but you're not make sure you're not speaking at a vibration of where you're like oh I feel like a you know a victim or I feel this way no it's just being able to say these are the different things that I'm going through these are the different things that is taking place in my life you know um, but I'm allowing myself to use this as a learning experience to be able to heal, be able to strengthen myself, not being able to allow myself to come out of my place of peace, just to be able to speak on it, but allowing myself to keep moving and showing others. If you're going through this, you're going to have different people triggering you. And these are the different things, even when people are not purposely triggering you and it triggers you is just allowing you to know what needs to be healed in that aspect of your life you're creating the best version of yourself and anything that still shows an irritation or a aggravation and stuff like that it's allowing you hey that's your cheat sheet <laughs> to be able to let you know those are the different things that you have to allow yourself to heal on you know what we go through every day on a day basis just being honest with ourselves saying you know what I'm tired or I'm drained or I'm sad or I'm hurt or I'm aggravated or I'm pissed off or I'm distracted when you're allowing yourself to honestly say this is the things that I'm feeling you know those are allowing you to know that you are standing in your truth because you're allowing yourself to understand these things need to come up to the surface so you don't have to no longer deal with these different things. If anything that comes into your life, you have to be able to understand. Like the people I'm dealing with, I, they're my life lesson just like I'm a life lesson for them. You're, they're being an example for you as you being an example for them. Do you, when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm taking it, and you know, I'm taking all those L's, but I'm also allowing myself to use that as my greatest strength. Anything that, you know, surface up a weakness is allowing me to heal that so I can be in my greatest strength. These are the different things where you are understanding the assignment. You are allowing yourself to be able to say, this is the antidote I have. To place in my situation because we're all in our own simulation you're going through different things into your life where there's going to be resistance there's going to be constant change there's going to be constant challenges and you're allowing yourself to really see the things from a brighter perspective these things are strengthening you these are the different things that are showing you no matter what when universe says that they're going to use you for a certain situation whatever it is they're going to use that, but they're also going to be able to protect you in all bounds, all levels, all directions. But they're allowing things to be able to come in contact with you. Even if it's very strange, it's very scary, it's very, you know, tragic, traumatic. These are the different things that's going to take place in your life. That is going to be when you allow yourself to use this and say, you know what, I'm not going to allow myself to live in fear. I'm not going to allow myself to stay focused on my past. I, I'm not going to allow myself to be moving through victim mentality or even speaking ne negative of others or speaking negative of myself. But just being able to know this is a learning technique to be able to allow yourself whatever weak vibrations you had into your life are very low level is going to be able to be in complete alignment wherever 
universe is taking you to and then you're going to be grateful for it because it's just like a lot of times when I've gone through things I used to be like aggravated feeling like you know it's not fair you know I'm tired of people doing everything they can to try to shut me down you know I'm just tired of people always going out their way when I do nothing to them you always speak ill of me out on the street and it always comes back to me and it's just at that point where I had to be able to tell myself these people are holding faith in me because if it didn't, they wouldn't be trying so hard to try to block me, you know, be keep me distracted or distorted or any kind of ways or trying to do different things to help me self-sabotage myself. You know, allowing myself to not worry about what people say out in the street. The only thing that matters is how I feel about myself. If you already know you're not doing these different things that they're trying to take ill of you, when people speak bad about you and trying to always pinpoint things about you or trying to create you as being this, you know, this this highly negative person or this villain and stuff like that they can't stand what's good about you when you can allow yourself to be able to deal with things you know it's just like I was telling y'all before you know when I used to always use different you know coping mechanisms to deal with my stress deal with my anxiety dealing with my pain dealing with my grief and then when I'm allowing myself to remove those different things, you know, no longer smoke weed, no longer smoke cigarettes, you know, don't drink, you know, don't take pills and stuff like that. And when I'm going through those and just being able to say I'm facing these things and damn, it's hard, it's hard as heck to be able to go through these things. You cry, you get aggravated, you know, I speak to universe, even I'll be cussing out universe, this and this and that and it goes through that. But at least I'm allowing myself to say, you know, you go, you know, you don't have to apologize for that. But then look at how you're dealing with things. You're not taking it to people or whatever, just to vent it out anymore. You're speaking to your family that crossed over or you're speaking towards universe so you're speaking to God about these different things but when you allow yourself to really take back you know and this is how I looked at it like girl you are really strong because the things that you're facing that would have been a major setback on you know you know going back to cigarettes going back to smoking weed you know going to have a drink because you dealing with some stuff that really don't make somebody doing that really make somebody do that and those are the different things where I can step back and say all these different things are coming at me to where you know your family is trying to off you you know, your ex is trying to do it every time you leave the house. You know, if it, it wasn't, you know, trying to put bodily fluids in my food and stuff like that. And they were like, hey, universe, like, hey, don't eat that. Hey, don't, don't, don't take that. You know, it would be different stuff like that. Love spells, all these other things. And it was just at that point where you have to really know when somebody doesn't want you in their life or nobody you know this person doesn't want you on that journey but just being able to appreciate that person it took a lot for me to be able to do the things that I'm doing and not holding anger towards you just to be able to understand it's just that me and this person been together umpteen years like going to 15 I've known you for 21 going on 22 years but it's just like when I see that it's toxic it's not growth it is it, I'm the one who's doing my work but you're not doing yours you know you stay focused on what I'm doing but you're not stay focused on your growth you know me having to constantly pray and those are the different things where it's like I had to take a step back I had to be focused on me dealing with stuff like that that would have took my you know my whole whatever it is it would have destroyed me and it's like when I'm doing that it, it's just like I have to constantly you know I had I shouldn't have to be in fear of my own home and it, it was at that point where I can be able to allow myself to see this is a, a learning situation because a lot of times universe where you'll hear out no you know hear out and different sayings is where you cannot heal where you got sick at I got sick here okay I got deaf here you know I had to go through an instant rebirth on everything that I had going on into my life and that mess was scary I won't lie I'm not, I, you know I always tell you I'm very transparent on anything that I talk about and these are the different things where, you know, even if it's most like disgusting or a TMI or it's embarrassing to go through in universe say you don't know who out there and, you know, that watches my videos are going through different things. So it's a lot of times we're going through battles that we don't speak on to other people, but you're giving them the voice to go ahead and speak up. And since I have a platform to be able to do that, I'm doing it in a very healthy, positive way because it's just like, ugh. Do I have to talk about this? And it's like, yeah, you're going through it. And how are you able to, you know, you deal with these different things? Because there's a lot of people that are dealing with uh, very uh, abusive situations. You know, going through DV is not, you know, something that is very uh, 
patient. <laughs> you know, you can carry patience with that. You can have peace with that. And those are the different things that I constantly go through. And it, it's just like, I'm proud of myself because it, it, it's like, ugh, it, it's like the last argument I got into it with him. You know, I had to really have to like, oh God, let me go sage myself. Let me go, you know, let me go repent. Let me go apologize to God. Let me apologize for myself because I allowed myself to really go there. But then it was just like, you have slip ups. Okay, you really have slip ups. And it's like, don't be hard on yourself because everything that you have been facing, you know, it was just like two, three weeks ago, just having somebody, you know, pull a gun out. And it was at that point. And then it's just like, then I have to turn around and do deal with this mess one more time. And it was just like, I'm so sick and tired. You know, it would be at that point, like, I'm so sick and tired of this. And it's just like, it's okay. It is okay when you're going through different stuff like this and you got a platform to be able to tell this is the per this is the situation I'm going through this is the person I got to constantly deal with you know he's all these different things and it's aggravating and at that point it was like really aggravating but then it got to that point where I can just say I'm going through peace even through the midst of the storm I'm going through peace you know because it'll be at a time where I had to really set back and it's just like all the cameras that you, you just keep constantly adding towards the house. But you keep telling me you don't care if I leave. And it's just like, then why all of a sudden all the beefed up security? There's no way. Even though we live in a, a place. Well, it's not like saying you live in a ghetto. But there's a lot of crime activity that does go around in the vicinity. But it's nothing over here at our house. Anything that happened, it had nothing to do with me. Just put it that way. But... It, it was at that point where when people are beefing up security, they're bringing their, you know, their, their children into it to keep watch. And you're doing all these different things to pay people to try to assassinate me. You have to have real good faith on thinking I cannot let her leave. If I can't be with her, no one will. If she, if I can't go, she can't go. I'm in debt. I need all this and this going on. And it's just like. That's the scary part, but it's not scary on my end. It's scary for his end because it's just like you have to be able to pray for people that constantly keep doing something like that because that's a very mental situation. And for me to be able to have that antidote, antidote, keep focusing on me. Just being able to know whether I'm in my house, whether I step out this door, I'm always protected. Universe is going to bring something to my attention when attention needs to be due. When you're out in this world, no matter what you're facing, if anything that is coming into connection with you is something that was teaching you about that situation, that person, as well as yourself, what needs to be changed, what needs to be focused on, what needs to be let go, what needs to make peace, what needs to have understanding, and what you know you need to be able to step into your power for. You know what we go through is not for the weak-hearted. You know, you face a lot of different things that's going to anger you. It's going to leave you in confusion. It may leave doubt. It may leave you feeling defeated at times. But these are the different changes you're going to go through to where it gets to your inner self. To where you know there is a beast inside that's waiting for that connection with you. You know, everybody got that hidden lion that's in line or, you know, a uh, lion into you. Emperor, empress, you know, all those different things into that. And these are the different changes you're going to go through in life. And it's just like whatever you're facing, don't feel like you can't overcome that. Whatever you're dealing with that may, you know, hurt your heart, it's going to also heal it at the same time. Because a lot of times we have to even, you know, make the hardest decisions on cutting people out of our lives that we truly care about, you know. And I look back at the different situations where I had, you know, I felt like when I was dealing with this relationship, I felt like, you know, this is what I deserve. This is what it is. And it was just like, no, you deserve a lot better. You're a good, you're a good person. Uh, this person I was with has really taught me more about myself. It's like, you know, this is not what love is. This is not what, this is toxicity. This is codependency. This is control, this manipulation, you know, and it, it was just like going through all those different things. It's, it's just like I became, you know, so tolerant of things where I just gave my power away. And now it's just at that point where I can see, oh, OK, you're trying to project. Oh, OK, you're getting into your vibrations because you you, you may feel bitter, you know, um, because I'm allowing myself to be that person where I'm standing into my boundaries. The universe is not allowing us to get to that point where it's, you know, we're going to be constantly connecting in that way. It, it'll be at that point where even where it feels uncomfortable just for being cordial. 
you know, and I never thought that I would feel that way about him. But it was at that point where I can truly say this is a beneficial situation for me where it really showed me to love myself better. You know, really had that self-respect because anything that keeps you up at night, keeps you constantly crying, and those are the different things that you don't need in life. If you're going to be with somebody, be with somebody who you can trust. Be with somebody that you can be vulnerable with, that you don't have to worry about. If they know your scars, they're, they're not going to try to keep on projecting them to, to you. They're not going to use your vulnerability or your pet peeves or your hurt or your pain to try to control you. Anybody who's wanting you to sacrifice your self-respect, your peace, your happiness is not worth keeping. Anybody you have to constantly wait for to see if you know they're going to change, they won't. And it'll be at that point where a lot of times you will miss out on a lot of blessings for waiting on somebody like that to change. And you have to be at that point where if this person really loves me, they're not going to put me in a situation to where if I want better in my life, they should be on my, on my, my team. And they want to be able to grow with me. They want to be able to heal with me. If those are the people that don't want to do that and keep on wanting to constantly pull you out of your peace, it has more to do with that person than with you. Because anybody who's worth being into your life that really cares about you and they're very nurturing, they're going to inspire you. They're going to support you when you're doing good for your life. They're going to want to be able to congratulate you on every term into your life. They will never see you as an opponent, but actually seeing you as that life partner, actually seeing you as a team. You know, that person want to be able to see you grow. They want to be able to, you know, give you ideas to be able to help you, but not come into your life wanting to give you ideas or wanting to know your business just so they can block that. Anybody who gets angry because you're, they're seeing you do something positive, that person is in a low level frequency that you just have to pray for that person, but be in that strength to be able to also let them go. You know, I have to be in a situation where I have to live up under the same roof with two people that are like that towards me. And it, it was really, when I tell you that is where strength really comes in. When I say there will be a lot of time where they say you cannot heal where you are sick at, where you, you got sick at, I'm doing it all. And I'm doing it all. And then universe is making me do that because I'm just like, if, if that happens, how the heck can you sit up here and heal where you got sick at? Because it's like right here, this is something that's going to be terminal to me. And it's just like it's only terminal to you if you allow that to happen. And we're going to let you, we're not going to allow that to happen. Your soul is not going to allow that to happen. Your loved ones that pass on is not going to allow that to happen. You're going to be pushed. You're going to be in the brink of wanting to give up. Brink of being, feeling like you're defeated. And they're going to always show you you're going to win. You are a winner this whole time. It just looked, took these situations for you to realize that. And those are the different things that's taking place into your life that will be truly beneficial. It will be a day when you can step back and look at all the trials and tribulations that took place into your life and just really just say, you know what, this was sent to destroy, this, this was sent to kill me, this was there to tear my life apart, but it actually built me up to be a stronger person. It's allowing you to tear down all those walls, you, you know, you're starting to allow yourself where you're seeing people that are constantly always bringing chaos and madness towards your life. You're having that bold choice to be able to say, I'm making boss move and I'm cutting them out. Anything that keeps me away from being in my peace, you got to go. You know, I used to be that person that constantly had to sacrifice myself for other people just to make them feel comfortable. If me having to dumb myself down or water myself down to make you feel comfortable about yourself, oh, that's not happening no more. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Even if you have to be that type of person, I'm just not going to be able to have to deal with you. So all these different things, like I said before, it's not, you know, trying to call him out of his character or whatever like that. You know, because I really had to be at that point. Is this something that I really need to talk about? It's like, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that are going through different things like that. And it's just at that point, you're being tested on your strength. Are you taking your power back? Are you standing in your power? Are you allowing yourself to be in your truth? This is your ultimate test. They have their ultimate test too. But I'm not speaking on that. I'm speaking on this. So you have to be at that point where you're going to say, it's now or never. Is this at that point? Am I going to allow people fear whatever they're trying to do to me? You always know. They always constantly tell you. You probably hear it a lot where it says no weapon against you shall prosper. And they mean just that because you just don't know. You, even though we can get aggravated with God because you may be going through stuff and it's dragged. It can be like molasses on a cold winter morning. And I mean on zero degree weather. So if you already know what molasses moves like and it's already cold. 
you know, it's going to be that way. But it's also teaching you, if you're going through that, it's teaching you so much about yourself. It's teaching you so much about your enemies. Or just even about how it's helping you become something that you didn't realize that was always there in the whole time. You just needed tragedy, mishaps, constant setbacks, failures, uh, blockages, delays, all those different things to be able to show you who you truly are. And it's going to be at that point where you're going to be able to tell the people that believed in you, that inspired you, that lifted you up, encouraged you in every way. You're going to tell them thankful. You know, I'm so thankful for all these different things you have helped me through. You just don't realize how you have helped me so much. You just don't know. But also, when you can look at your enemies, it's just like if you weren't doing these things to try to block me, I really wouldn't have known. Thou must be doing something right for you to have to go through these different, you know, extremes for you to be able to X me out, out of my own life, out of my own own existence you know and you're going to be able to appreciate them because if it wasn't you wouldn't know that you have something very powerful inside of you that they did not want you to discover even within the devil as well they use the, all these different things that came into your life to be able to do that and when you're standing in your power and you know you're going through some kind of resistance this is the reason why because you're standing in your power you're standing in your purpose you're doing what God wants you to do and it'll be at times where you're going through stuff and it just seems like it never stops and it's just letting you know when things like that happens that lets you know you must be doing something very extremely good into your life because it's like I always tell people if you if there's nobody not trying to rain on your parade trying to place fear breathe fear and doubt into your life dreaming you know trying to shut your you know your dreams down and trying to make you a living you trying to use their their low level tendencies to make your life a living nightmare you you're you're not having nothing good you're not doing anything good you know you're even inspiring your haters because your haters have that they think you're great if they wouldn't be trying to sit up here and try to you know have a, a hate group you know lying all these different things on you if they wasn't so good about you that they want people to be able to see what they see within you that really triggers them to be able to use that to trigger you so allow yourself to keep moving don't give up even if different things are constantly put in your path where different things is taking place into your life not everything is what it seems keep going don't give up on yourself you know, don't give up on your purpose. You know, these are the different things that's really helping you. If we want the change in our life, you know, change in the world, we're going to have to place that change within ourselves. And you never know. Universe is using you as that prime example to be able to show anything that people feel like is impossible is going to be possible through the movement of you. So you keep going. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Like always, I say, I leave my contact information in, in the description box below. You know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the videos. And it's just getting in touch with me. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, maybe you need somebody to talk to or there's different things that's going on into your life that you're really trying to understand. What is in my purpose? Why did I have to go through these different things? Why are these certain things happening? This is how I grew up. These are the things I experienced. I mean, I hear from y'all all the time. And just being able to speak on those things you know we're doing a student teacher situation you know you never know what you have overcome that somebody is still struggling in that may need your story to be able to help them overcome as well you're you know you're always somebody on somebody's prayer board and you're always somebody's cheat sheet to be able to understand if that person can overcome it I sure the heck can and now you know and I love to be able to you know connect with other people on those different things that are taking place so um, just being able to help you out is just greatly appreciated. You know, maybe you're that type of person that you are always constantly judged. I tell people, hey, we can stay cool and connect as long as you ain't disrespecting me. You ain't the type of person to be touching on little kids and, you know, you know, harming animals and pushing, you know, old folks down a flight of stairs. Hey, it, 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 we can go back like four flats you know 10 toes down and be able to go through that but you know whatever I, we speak on is highly confidential and i try to be able to help out the best way i can you know go on my community page it's all about different posts that i have as well as my my podcast as well um and just you know different things that we're going through you know huge changes you know right now is, is going through is like we're healing you know taking rest heavy on your self-care if you being vibe or just being um uh being shown the signs of you know solitude you know rest be able to recharge reset refocus please go ahead and do that okay if that was that sign this is that sign for you right now so you know if you actually feel like having uh being generous enough to drop a donation cap at cash app is there as well whatever vibrations you're truly needing to be able to continue on your life purpose i'm sending towards you a million times slow whether it's belief patience you know balance uh 
uh, persistentness, you know, uh, what, what else, uh, determination and motivation, whatever it is, I'm sending that vibe towards you a million times fold, don't, you know, don't sleep on yourself, stay woke, you know, the devil and enemy sees your potential and your light and it will do anything to make you doubt yourself, doubt your existence, doubt whatever God has for you or whatever, don't give up, keep on going, keep moving, because you got that what it takes. So, I hope you have a safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe with anything you do. You know, we all have, uh, through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You know, those things really take somebody a long way. And just for you doing that for a positive vibration, you know, it can take you even further. And much love to you. God bless. Shalom. Uh, I say, and peace. And namaste.